Hello everybody, my name is Jerry with 3DHP and in today's video we're going to be talking about the Rolly Lasermatic 10 that I just got. It is an awesome diode laser and we're going to build it, do some really cool prints and yes, I shortened my intro, it's only like 19 seconds long. So here we go. take a look at all the goodies here here's a test card they sent me that's done on this laser all the different settings came out really nice and we have a couple dog tags here I can engrave this is metal got a little weight to it and then some business cards appear to be anodized or different colors oh that's pretty loving that blue my next truck needs to be that color. Anyway, different colors, very nice. And we got a couple dowels. There's two of them here. It's like one, two, three pieces of probably basswood. Three or four millimeters thick. I'm not sure at the moment. I haven't opened it. Very nice. And let's see, the rubber bands are going to be for the rotary accessory to hold tumblers down if need be. Here's a cable for hooking up the rotary on the control board. This is a very low profile rotary. It actually sits in the mm -hmm. bed. It's got precise um, holes here where it drops in the bed. You take out the honeycomb bed, you drop in the rotary, it perfectly squares it with the machine. So it's 100% accurate. And this is the whole end of your material, which also has holes, so you can uh, drop in a bed and then adjust it accordingly. These little rollers here, put your tumbler on the end and you adjust it. And we've got a cloth here for cleaning the lens. Now, when you go to focus the lens, if you're going to engrave, you put the big spot directly underneath the laser, loosen up the nut on the side, crank the top one down to barely touch it, tighten up the set screw on the side, on the right side, pull this out and you're good to go and if you want to cut your material let's see cutting quarter inch six millimeter or cutting a uh, one eighth inch I believe it says three millimeter so for three millimeter wood you focus here 
and for six millimeter you'd poke it down below here so and then when you're engraving you're right on the top of the material you know so that works out perfect that'll be nice to keep around with the machine but yeah so far so good i'm doing a test burn right now and i'll jump you over there and show you what it looks like and we got to see we've got our allen wrenches here we've got a couple extra screws just in case we lose one there's one of each right here for you but yeah i'm really impressed so far and the user manual is an amazing manual it's very it's very heavy cardboard stock it kind of surprised me when i was flipping through the pages i kept trying to separate pages thinking there was they were doubled up but very clear explains how to set everything up very nice manual very easy to put together the laser very simple a few plugs a few bolts most of it's already pre-assembled so, very cool See how it came out. Wow, no charring, no burning. I've never ever had a laser that didn't char and burn everything. That is amazing. I am completely floored. Completely shocked. That is unbelievable. That is perfect. Wow. And two parts of a butterfly. It's got to paint them and then they interlock. I don't think I can do it here with one hand. There we go. I had to set the phone down. Check that out. That is unbelievable. God, that looks good. The file I got off that seat some butterflies. And then I just ungrouped them, took one butterfly, and made it really big on the bed. Wow. Shocking. I am completely floored. That is amazing. Perfect. Alrighty, the big reveal, all the cool stuff I've been working on the last couple days. I've got butterflies and coasters and pictures, and finally I've got an Eiffel Tower. And let's start off with the pictures here. This is some rainbow scratch paper off Amazon I bought a few years back. And I was experimenting with a couple pictures I downloaded. And these came out amazingly well. Now, you cannot see her eyes in the picture. They're a little dark. I've got to play with the settings, but this is on scratch paper. And I'll have a, have a link down below where you can buy that over on Amazon. But that came out really, really cool. I got those two done. I tried them with different settings. And let's talk about the Eiffel Tower. Now, I tried to make this a few years ago. I got this from Rich, the LA Hobby guy. I'm sure you all know who he is. And uh, he got this file somewhere on the internet. He modified it and cleaned it up. And every time I tried to print this in the past, it's so tiny and precise, I would burn the thing up. And I'd burn up parts and I just wasted so much uh, basswood on it trying to print this but this laser knocked it out perfectly dropped it in the different parts the basswood and it ama amazingly cut everything perfectly i mean very intricate very tiny now when i put it together though i got these four frames here all together but i had a miss the line they wouldn't drop in down below because some of them were inside out so if you want to cut this out and make this and print glue it together be sure you make sure they're not inside out. Even though all four go together, 
they have to be the right direction to pop in the landing there. But it's very fragile, very cool. I'm going to put up a shelf and display this in here. This is so amazing. I'm just blown away by how tiny, precise. Well, you know, I don't know how to explain it, but it's just it's really, really cool. Really cool. Then I got some butterflies. Let's start with the ones on the plate here. Now the ones on the plate, I don't have them hooked together. They're very tiny, very precise. Had a file on Amazon or over on Etsy. I bought these from place on Etsy. They're very, very tiny and precise. And one of them was so tiny when I picked it up off the bed, it actually broke. But it's very, very, very precise, intricate. It didn't burn the parts. It didn't char the parts. I got no yellowing on anything here. And then I ungrouped the butterflies and I printed a couple bigger ones. Now these, they interlock, they just slide together. You print them flat obviously. Put a little super CA glue and uh, activator on it. But that'll look really nice. I can either spray paint that or I can use, uh, you know, my acrylic paints and I can paint it, whichever. Then mount that on the wall or something, but very beautiful. Now I've got two different ones that I've done here. Here's another one, but look, there's no charring. No charring whatsoever on that. No yellowing, no charring. Very clean burn. Very clean burn. And then I was experimenting with the coasters. And I tried a bunch of different settings, trying to get the picture just right. And I was getting a lot of them kind of dark. So when I finally got it to where I liked it, let's see, what was it? I imported the profile from Rolly. Um, it was cardboard. Yeah, the cardboard setting, I believe, is what, was what I wound up using there. That came out really good. Really good. It's not perfectly centered, but I'm just kind of experimenting and tinkering around. I have not clear coated that or anything yet. Got that done. Now I'm the tumbler. My logo there, it's real small. Came out really nice. So I've got a lot more tumblers to do. And one thing that's really nice, and you put your rotary in the bed, take out the honeycomb bed, there's uh, pins that stick up in the bed so you precisely get it lined up exactly where it goes. You don't have to fiddle around and measure and try to figure out am I centered over my work or is it twisted one way or another. It has pins that drops it in and then you have a little tiny wire you simply hook to the rotary and then it hooks onto the control board right down here and then instructions that shows you where that's at. Very simple to do and then a light burn software you just enable rotary and you're good to go. You import all their settings, they're all there for this, there's nothing you have to figure out. It's all there according to which there's four positions on the rotary that you can move the rollers and according to that you pick it in the software. It's got profiles. It's very easy and simple to use. The acrylic on this, um, it's like a quarter inch thick. I mean the acrylic is super, super thick on this. Uh, the frame is all steel. The honeycomb bed is magnetic. You can, it'll, magnets will work on it perfectly fine. It is set up for millimeters or inches depending on which way you put the honeycomb bed in. If it has inches on the back corner here and it's got millimeters down the side and across the front, it, it has little mount, mounting brackets that you slip it in. It's precise. It gets ex exactly lined up every time. It has a built-in fan. Now, I have a 195 CFM fan that I keep mounted up on the wall there for my uh, diode laser. And I wanted to see how well, and actually here's a picture of the one that I have. And then I have a vent on the outside which has a metal door. And then I just uh, take a little spatula or something when whatever object is running kick it open and then it, the you know the machine the fan or the exhaust will keep the door open exhaust everything outside but i took that down because i wanted to try out the raleigh's fan and it, it it works fine the fan exhausts everything perfectly fine and i believe it's like a three and a half to four inch uh opening on the back it comes with your standard this is a new one here your standard duct tubing like you have for your dryer it works perfectly fine. I've had no issues with it. Let's see. It's got linear rails. It's very precise. Linear rails. As you've seen in the pictures, uh, it just it works. It works great. The Raleigh. Rolly. Rolly. I think it's Rolly. Yeah, Rolly. As in Rolly Pulley. That's how I'm trying to remember it. But yeah, it works amazingly well. It's the most precise laser, diode laser I think I've ever used. It is the prettiest machine I've ever had. It's a complete package. It has Wi-Fi hooked up on it, uh, Wi-Fi antenna. I haven't messed with that. I haven't tried to get it hooked up. It has a light burn compatible camera right here in the top. It's very simple to set up in light burn. It explains how to do it. 
and it is a wonderful machine. When if the laser is running, you open the lid, it automatically shuts off the laser. There's two electronic switches, one here and one here, that will kill the job. It'll pause it while you have the lid open. When you close it, it'll resume. I believe. I haven't tried it, but I believe. And yeah, it's just it's a great machine. It comes with air assist, the rotary roller. Um, I have no need to wear protect protective glasses around this because of the enclosure. You can if you want for double safety, but it's not, I don't believe it to be necessary. And I'm just having a blast with it. I, you know, I'm really glad I got this to test and review from uh, Rolly. And yeah, I guess that's all I, can, all I can say. I got a lot more videos to do, a lot more stuff I want to make. I'm really excited I got this. You know, and then I have my other laser over there, my mature Laser Master 3 that's sitting over there. And yeah, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful machine. I love it. There'll be, if you're interested in something like this, if it might be for you, there'll be an Amazon link down below where you can buy it. Um, I, a while back, I think they had them for $100 off. I think there was a coupon. I'm not sure if it's still active or not, but I'll share my link down below if you'd like to check this out. And yeah, if you want to check out the Laser Makers Realm, uh, the LA Hobby Guy, Rich, and um, he's on there with two guys every couple weeks. But yeah, it's a beautiful machine. I'm loving it. I don't know what else to say, but I should have wrote down a list of things I wanted to say. I'm just kind of flying off the cuff here um, as I go, but yeah, beautiful machine, love it, works great. It's probably the best laser I've ever tested up to this point. It seems to check all the boxes. I'm very happy with it. And if you're interested, you know, like I say, link below. Please like, subscribe, share this video. I'd appreciate it. I'm trying to grow my channel. And by people commenting and sharing and give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever it may be, subscribing, it's free, it costs you nothing, and there'll be links below for everything I talked about, where I found the butterflies over on Etsy, I'll link Rich's video, where you can uh, get the Eiffel Tower, and I guess that's about it, so in the, until next time, happy laser printing everybody, you have an awesome day, later.